guys, so today's video is going to be my April and May favorites video. I did not put up a favorites video for April because it was just a really hectic month, month for me. But I just figured I would combine the two. I just wanted to say really quick that I was looking to see what I put into my March favorites, I believe it was, to check to see what I had already put in there and what was different with this month. And I noticed that the ending was cut off, so I don't know what happened with that. I'm pretty sure that on my computer it was fine, but I guess something went wrong when it was exporting or uploading or something like that, and it got messed up. So that video was actually cut off, but I put something in there. I put something in this video that was in that video that was cut off, I believe. So anyway, I'm sorry about that. I don't know what wrong, what went wrong. But hopefully this doesn't happen in this video. So starting out with face this month, I really did love the Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation from Remmel. And I'm in the color Light Porcelain. And this was really great because, for those of you who don't know, I went to Italy during Easter break in April. And I had the time of my life. And this was what I wore every single day. It says that it's a mousse and it is a mousse like consistency but when you put it on it's not heavy and it doesn't weigh your skin down so that is why I absolutely loved this because it didn't feel like your skin was being weighed down by so much product it was just really light and really natural and this was definitely something that stayed on and just worked perfectly so I really highly recommend this an oldie but a goodie is definitely my age rewind eraser dark for dark circles from Maybelline and I'm in the color fair in this one and this is just a brightener and it highlights your eyes perfectly it doesn't make your dark circles look like they're there it makes them seem inexistent and it I use it every single day so I'm wearing it right now and I absolutely love this because it's just so smooth and it's so easy to blend in so definitely a holy grail product a new concealer that I tried out for this trip was the above and beyond full coverage concealer from NYX and I absolutely loved this. It's a pot form, so it's a little bit of a hassle if you want to just not get it dirty. But, I mean, if you're okay with it, then it's not a big deal. It doesn't really bother me because I know that I'm going to be the only one using it. And I always wash my hands before I do my makeup, so I know that it's not going to get germy and stuff. So I just use this around my nose on any blemishes and it covered it up perfectly. For my eyebrows, I have been doing something a little bit differently. I've still been using the same product from Too Faced, which is this color right here. I'm not sure the eyeshadow color because it is a set of eyeshadow, so it doesn't have the name on it. But it's just a light brown color. But what I've been doing recently is I have been putting Max Cork along with that. So I've put that color on first and then I put Max Cork just a little bit just to darken them up just a little bit more and I really do like the combination of these so I have it on my eyebrows today and I just really like the definition that it gives. As a base for my eyes this month I have been using the Birthday Suit Cream Shadow from Benefit and this is just what it looks like. It's just an olive toned brown color and this was great for when I traveled. This was in my travel makeup tutorial I believe and it's just a good color and it stays on all day and that's why I really loved it for traveling because I easily just slapped it on and then did some liner and then just put some mascara on and then I was done and it stayed on and it's not cream it doesn't crease it's a cream shadow but it doesn't crease and it just works really well and it's a really good product so definitely loved this and it can go underneath any shadow really because if you put a shimmery shadow on it then the shimmer shows up a little bit more and it's just a really versatile product as for regular eyeshadow I have gone back to my naked palette this month which I was kind of surprised that I reached out for this again, but I mean, this palette is just absolutely amazing for nude makeup, and it just looks like this, for those of you who don't know, but I'm sure you all do know, because everyone on YouTube has this, and it's just a really great palette, which has a good range of colors. Particularly this month, I've been using a lot of Naked Sin and Virgin, so the three here, and then I've also been using Sidecar a little bit, so Sidecar is a color that I absolutely love. And then I've also been using a little bit of Dark Horse, which is the darkest brown in the palette right here. So just a really nice palette, and I just really love the colors in it, so definitely love this. For eyeliner this month, I've been using a new eyeliner, and this is the Remo Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner. And this just works really well. The line is really black that you get. It's a 
brush tip liner, I believe that's what you would call it, but the line is just really black, the brush is really thin, and I will go ahead and just show you how black the line is, because it just is absolutely fantastic. So, so that's how black the line is. So it's just a really great product, and it is really easy con to control once you get the hang of it. When I first started doing it, I was doing winged liner with it, and I was like, wow, I suck at winged liner. But as soon as you learn what movement works for you, then that makes it so much easier. And I was doing wing liner like every day whenever I used it. So I don't have it on today because I'm using a different liner today that I've been trying out. You guys will probably hear about it in my next favorites video, but that's a whole month away. So let's not even talk about that. For mascara, I have gone back to my Maybelline Rocket Mascara. And this mascara is just fantastic. It lengthens your lashes, it thickens them, and it also makes them look fuller. So I really love this, and I have the one in the color brownish black. I prefer this color to a really black mascara because this just looks natural. Not, well not natural, but it just is a natural -er color. It's a more natural color. So, I mean, it looks nearly like it's black, but I just like this, and I really like how it looks on my lashes. So I definitely recommend that you guys check this out because it is a drugstore mascara, and it works great. For face, I have been using my NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer constantly. Uh, I don't have it on today. Surprisingly, I do not have a lot of these products on today. But this is just a fantastic bronzer. That, As for blush, I have been using my NYX Cream Blush in the color Glow. This color is absolutely gorgeous, and it looks kind of scary looking at it when you're looking at it on camera. But I promise you that once you blend it out, it looks absolutely gorgeous and so natural because if you blend it out really well, it looks like your cheeks are just like flushed and that's what I really love about this color. For lips this month, I have two favorite lip products, one of which is newer than the other. So the first one is the Rema London Show Off Lip Lacquer and this is an absolutely amazing product because of how pigmented it is and how smooth the consistency is. I absolutely love this. This is what it looks like and these are called the Apocalypse in the UK but here they're called the Show Offs and they are absolutely incredible products because they're not super high expensive but they're high quality from the drugstore. So I absolutely love these. I absolutely recommend these 1000% and this is in the color Celestial. Celestial. And I'll show you guys what the swatch looks like because just one swipe of it is that color so it's absolutely amazing. For my lipstick favorite this month I have been loving the Maybelline Vivids collection lipstick in the color Brazenberry. This looks probably very scary on camera um, because it is a pure purple. This was in my lipstick collection video so you guys can go ahead and check that out if you guys want to see what it looks like on and stuff but just a quick swatch of it is just right here. So it is the bottom color there and it's just really pretty, really pigmented and it's just such a gorgeous color and I'm absolutely in love with it. That's all for the makeup favorites for these two past months. Now I have a body favorite. So this one is the Body Butter from the Body Shop and it's the strawberry one. This smells exactly like fresh strawberries and I cannot tell you guys how moisturizing it is. So they definitely do deserve the hype that they get because they are so moisturizing and they don't leave that your skin feeling sticky or like like it's not absorbing in which I know that some like body butters or body products can have so this just absorbs right into your skin it makes your legs and arms and anywhere you apply it feel so so smooth and I just really love this my favorite fragrance of the month was Bath and Body Works Sweet Pea this just smells so good it's such a classic scent and it just really smells really really nice and it's not too sweet it's not too serious so I really just love this scent and you guys should check it out because it just smells so good. The next product is a hair product which actually broke on me recently. I don't know how it broke. I don't know what happened but this was the this is the Herbal Essences Naked Dry Shampoo and it has 0% parabens or colorant so it just looks like this and this is the best dry shampoo from the drugstore that I've ever tried. It doesn't leave your hair feeling weird or like it's heavy and weighed down it just feels really light and natural in your hair and it's a spray and it does get a little bit of a white powder when it dries but as soon as you rub it in it's perfect and it doesn't look like you have anything in your hair at all and it just makes your hair look like you washed it and it smells really good too it's my favorite candle this month is the same candle that I had in my previous favorites video and this is the pineapple orchid candle 
and this just smells so good it just smells really nice and sweet and florally and I just really love the combination of the pineapple and the orchid and it says this light fruity floral blend of pineapple and fragrant orchid adds delicate brightness to your home and I just really love the scent of it like I said I've been trying to burn down my candles so I can go get some new ones so this is one of the ones that I've been trying to burn but for some reason candles don't like to burn fast on me they take forever as for book favorites this month one of the ones is from a few months ago because I think it was supposed to make it into my March favorites video but again the video got cut off so this one is The Scorch Trials and it's by James Dashner it's part of the Maze Runner series this is the second book and absolutely amazing I love this series so much I have the third and the prelude book that I have to read still I bought them but I just need to read them and I really just love this series and I highly recommend you guys check it out because they are making the movies coming out in September for the first book Dylan O'Brien's the main lead and it just has a great cast and I can't wait to see it so you guys should check these books out my next favorite book is one that I read in an entire plane ride it was the entire plane ride back to the states from Italy was basically me reading this book and my friends were making fun of me because I just sat there and read the entire time they were like how do you have the patience to do this but the reason why is because I was reading such a good book so this book is Will Grayson Will Grayson and it is by John Green and David Levithan so it was a co-written book and it's just so funny and good and that is why I absolutely loved it because it wasn't like a really sad book which I mean I could have gone through a sad book anyway but this book was just really funny and really interesting. The back says, Will Grayson meet Will Grayson. One cold night in a most unlikely corner of Chicago, two strangers cross paths, two teens with the same name running in two very different circles, suddenly find their lives going in new and unexpected directions, culminating in heroic turns of heart in the most epic musical ever to grace the high school stage. And it's just a really great novel and it's funny, but it's also like kind of rude in some parts. But it's just a really great book that I highly recommend if you guys are looking for a good read that's quick and easy and definitely read this because it's just great. I just noticed that I got white stuff on my nose from the dry shampoo, so nice job me. So now it is time for my movie favorites. And let me just tell you guys, I had the privilege to go to the advanced screening of The Fall in Our Stars in New York and I waited eight hours on the streets of New York for it, on the sidewalks of New York for it. So basically I ended up getting in. It was so cool to see them there and it was so surreal because they were literally right there and it was after the movie that the entire cast came out. Before the movie Nat and John came out as well as Josh Boone who directed the film and they were like saying like we hope you enjoy it and stuff and then if you stick around stay in your seats afterwards will have a surprise for you so obviously everyone stayed in their seats afterwards and that's when the entire cast came out and did their little Q&A it was absolutely fantastic and the movie was absolutely incredible I could not ask for a better interpretation of the book because it had all the scenes some of the scenes were line for line and that made me so happy because Josh Boone really did a great job it was just a great movie and they casted it perfectly and I cannot wait for you guys to see it because this video will be up before June 6th and you guys are going to absolutely love it if you endured the book you are going to absolutely love the film I was laughing I was crying I was bawling and it was just so good like the entire theater you could hear people like stifling sobs and it was just absolutely fantastic and I can't even put into words how good it was. My other favorite film this month is Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now my issue was that I went to see The Fall in Our Stars on a Saturday and then on the Sunday I went to go see Amazing Spider-Man 2. That basically equaled me bawling tears and crying because of how Amazing Spider-Man 2 ended. I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone because I mean, I knew that it was going to happen, but I was still crying, and basically, if you have not seen the first Spider-Man, like the first Amazing Spider-Man, not the one with Tobey Maguire, the one with Andrew Garfield, go watch it, and then go watch The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and the music in it, the acting in it, just the storyline of it was so good. The CGI effects are incredible out of this world. And I just really, really loved the film, and it was just fantastic. As for music favorites this month, the 5 Seconds of Summer EP has been on repeat. 
the score for The Amazing Spider-Man 2 has been on repeat, which is weird because I usually don't listen to music scores, but the music for that movie was just so good that I needed to get it, and it's absolutely amazing. I've also been really loving the music from the Fault in Our Stars soundtrack, which is incredible, and I just really love all the songs on there, so those have been some of my music favorites this month. I've been listening to so much music this month. Oh, and then also on Solo or Ansel Elgort's alter ego music creating genius. He released his first song called Unite and it's an incredible mix. I love that kind of mix music. So if you guys like house music then definitely go check that out. And then my favorite experience this month besides the Fault in Our Stars screening was definitely going to Italy and getting to spend 10 days in a foreign country with my best friends and it was just the greatest experience that I could have asked for. We had the time of our lives, and I will go ahead and put some pictures in over here. amazing so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you guys in my next one bye guys